In this video, we're overclocking the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 GPU all the way up to 2235 megahertz in five minutes or less using the EVGA Precision X1 software tool and custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the overclocked settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your graphics card. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a graphics card, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. Open the EVGA Precision X1 software tool. This software tool provides us access to all the parameters exposed in the NVIDIA API. We want to adjust the parameters impacting the GPU Boost 4.0 technology behavior. GPU Boost is the frequency boosting technology that's embedded in all NVIDIA graphics cards. Set power target to 112%. This ensures the GPU Boost 4.0 algorithm will use the maximum available power consumption headroom. For the GeForce RTX 3050 GPU, that's up to the total board power of 145 watt, up from the default 130 watts. Note that just like on high-end graphics cards, the GPU monitors the power consumption using a voltage monitoring circuit on the PCB. Set GPU voltage to 100%. This enables the overvoltage feature present since GPU Boost 2.0. Over voltage refers to the extended range between the reliability voltage VREL and maximum over voltage VMAX as specified by NVIDIA. The reliability voltage VREL is the highest voltage the GPU will safely run at without harming the long term lifespan. The maximum over voltage VMAX is the highest voltage NVIDIA will allow the GPU to run at as it may hurt lifespan. On this EVGA GeForce RTX 3050 XC gaming graphics card, the reliability voltage is 1.081 volt and the maximum voltage is 1.1 volt. Set GPU boost clock to 2235 plus 200. This offsets the entire GPU voltage frequency curve by 200 megahertz over the standard curve. The voltage frequency curve describes the relationship between a frequency and the voltage required to run that frequency. The NVIDIA Ampere GPU has 128 distinct, individually adjustable points on its voltage frequency curve. If you have a lot of time, you can manually tweak each of the 128 points, but that's a lot of work. Set memory clock to 8301 plus 1300. This increases the GDDR6 memory frequency from a default 1750 MHz to 2075 MHz. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything is working as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. We see improved performance in all benchmarks. The performance increase ranges from plus 0.14% in handbrake to 22.50% in Unigen superposition. When running the 3D Mark Speedway Stability Test, the average GPU effective clock is 2169 MHz with 1.060 volts and the GPU memory clock is 2,075 MHz. The average GPU and GPU hotspot temperatures are 62.9 and 74.6 degrees Celsius. The average GPU power is 144 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for the support and see you next time.